All right, Pete, grab that knife. We're going to the basement. <laughs> There's somebody in the basement. Like, actually? Yeah. Well, I hear somebody walking around down there. I would say we're looking more for those savage Section 8 seasoned gristled contractor type guys that, you know, are usually armed when they're touring properties in the hood. And, uh, you know, they know how to kind of clear a house out to make sure they don't get stabbed in the face when they're determining what the scope of work is here. Right. So uh, someone was there when we were there. I don't believe that person is staying, but I can't guarantee um, that when you go there for a tour to check things out, that they will not be there. So I highly suggest you proceed with caution. Welcome to the Investment Properties for Sales Show. Folks, thing is selling at or above list. We are going to provide you guys with complete transparency and education. We take you to the video tour. Won't want to be giving it to you straight. I'm going to do this one like... Uh, like them 50-year-old uh, lady realtors do it, you know? You know those, like, 50-year-old realtors? Uh, like the ladies that got the poofy hair and the little necklaces and stuff, and they're just, you know, always trying to make everything seem so fancy when it's not. This quaint little home and lovely little friendly Toledo neighborhood just needs a little bit of elbow grease, and you could put all kinds of love into it, and it's going to be great for you and your family, yeah. Yeah, that's what we should say on this one. Not exactly, y'all. If you're a first-time home buyer and you're looking for a low-cost property in Toledo, I highly recommend you fuck right off because this is not going to be for you. Uh, 350 Spring Grove Ave, okay? I don't need no first-time home buyers. I don't need no motherfuckers that use the word quaint. I don't want to talk to any some bitches that say cozy, okay? Because ain't none of that shit going to fly or be applicable here, okay? Here's what we got. We got a property. Uh, this all types of fucked up, all right? It had a fire, okay? We got an out-of-state investor. He owns it. Had a fire. Uh, he's done. He's out, okay? We got a price pretty low for you, $24.9. Um, you know, just running comps. Like, you could... You know, the end game of this property could be like two things, right? You could do a Section 8 rental. After you rehab it, you'll be able to get about 1200 right? Section 8, that's my bread and butter. That's where I've made a lot of money. But it could also potentially work for motherfuckers that want to flip houses, right? I saw one uh, listed down the street. Pretty nice. It was 115 but that means it's listed, all right? Let me give you all a little pro tip. If it's listed... That mean it ain't sold, son. That means that's what they want for it, but they haven't got it. Realistically here, I would say your uh, your comps probably closer to like 80. Like the the one down the street was pretty nice, but like I don't I don't know if they'll get the 115. I would say 80 to be a little safer, right? So it is burned. You know, there's an interior fire, so it needs like a full on reno, right? As for the occupancy status, you would assume. That since, you know, it caught on fire, it was vacant. But that may or may not be the case. We, we don't believe it's the case, but that could change. Uh, when my team was there, when our, our guys were there, the out-of-state investor that asked us to sell this for him to all you lovely folk, uh, you know, set us up with a lockbox, had a key on there. But when we got there, uh, the door was kicked in. Uh, so we're doing our thing. And uh, our guys got spooked because uh, there was somebody in the basement when we were there. But, you know... I don't know if that was necessarily a squatter uh, so much as just like some junkie who was probably like looking for copper to steal, right? That's the thing. Um, you know, you'll get junkies that'll like literally move into places and like illegally live there, which that sucks because they just, you know, sit around, do drugs, ruin shit, bang whores, sometimes murder the whores, uh, and just all kinds of crappy stuff. You don't want that. It takes a while to get them out of there. Uh, so that's like the worst case scenario, but like a lesser bad scenario is just the junkies that just come there to steal shit and then move out. Like they don't want to stay. They're just looking for copper so they could find drugs once they could afford the drugs and, and afford the whores, right? Whores and drugs cost money, y'all. You got to have money to get whores and drugs. It's pretty hard uh, to kill a whore if you don't have money to lure the whore into your sex dungeon, right? So, uh, we think that squatter uh, guy, you know, we don't 
I don't know what to label him. I don't necessarily know if he's a squatter or not. Uh, like, if you want to go there, because I assume you're going to want to put together a bid, uh, the door's still kicked in. Um, we weren't provided keys, so we're just going to let that door be open. So I highly suggest you proceed with caution, right? So if, you know, you're one of those, like, folks that works with those lovely, nice lady realtors that say things like cozy and quaint that I talked about at the beginning, I, I don't know if touring this property like that, like driving your nice, uh, you know, sedan, you know, looking around for homes, uh, for first time home buyers. I don't know if this is going to be your game, right? I would say we're looking more for those savage section eight season gristled contractor type guys that, you know, are usually armed when they're touring properties in the hood. And, uh, you know, they know how to kind of clear a house out to make sure they don't get stabbed in the face when they're determining what the scope of work is here. Right. So, uh, someone was there when we were there. I don't believe that person is staying, but I can't guarantee um, that when you go there for a tour to check things out that they will not be there. So I highly suggest you proceed with caution because if you've been in the game a long time, you work on properties like this for a long time, neighborhoods like this, you know it's the freaking Wild West out there, man. It is what it is, right? It's cheap. Run your numbers. Right, could potentially work for a resale flip, could potentially work for a good Section 8 investment, but it is by no means like wrapped up in a nice little bow for you and easy. No, it's going to be a lot of dir dirty, hard work. But hey, uh, those of you that are in the know, those of you that do this for a living, uh, know that you can make a lot of money with properties like this, right? You know, that's how I got my start. $200 million worth of sales later, I'm sitting pretty, okay? So, you know, it's a lot of hard, dirty work, but the guys out there and the gals out there that do this for a living, uh, that are seasoned gristled vets, that want to tour the property, put together your scope of work, just let us know. Sales at HoltonWise.com. Uh, and, well, I mean, shit, no, actually. <laughs> I was going to say we'll, get, we'll, we'll set you up with the, 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 the instructions to get inside, but not, like the dude already kicked the fucking door in, so... Like, I guess you could just go there. Just go there whenever you want, really. it It's, yeah, just go there. Yeah, you don't even have to let us know. Honestly, you just go there. You could just go there, um, but I would try not to get killed while you're there. But go ahead, tour the property, proceed with caution, try not to kill the junkie. Like, that would be terrible for everybody involved. You know, just see if he's there and try not to get killed. I mean, I guess if, if you think he's going to kill you, I guess, you know, you could kill him in self-defense, but, you know, from my understanding, you know, those cases still cost quite a bit of money to defend. So if I were you, I, I would avoid violence. I would definitely avoid violence. So just really proceed with caution and try to avoid conflict. Uh, and, and uh, yeah, that, that, that's it, man. That's the property. Uh, after you tour it, hopefully safely, without any physical conflict, with any crazy junkies or anything like that, uh, we'll be accepting as-is cash offers only. You could just send those to my team, sales at HoltonWise.com. Be safe out there, folks. Probably go in teams, right? Don't go by yourself. Don't go in the middle of the night, right? Early morning, right? You know, sometimes when you're working in sketchy neighborhoods, sketchy situations, guys, it's, it's really like, you know, I've done this many, many years, right? I've been in the game a long time. If you're going to a very dangerous neighborhood and you're going to be looking at some sketchy houses, like that prime time is probably like, Seven in the morning to like eleven thirty in the morning, right? You know the riff raff and all the crazy shit doesn't really happen till later in the day. So like, I definitely do not recommend like a seven p.m. showing, okay? Uh, but I would suggest you get there early, proceed with caution. I don't want anybody out there getting hit, hurt, damaged, you know, anything like that. I also don't want any of you guys killing any junkie at this property because then, you know, the police. I guess this is the part where I should say I'll, like, feel bad for the junkie. But, like, I wouldn't. I wouldn't really care. But what, what the problem would be is the police would then label that as a crime scene. And I, and I think that would affect my ability to sell this property and continue to make money. So that would be a fucking problem for me. So please don't shoot any fucking junkies, people. Please. Violence is never the answer. Sales at HoltonWise.com. Submit your offers. Let's go. Back door was locked, which is nice. And that back door looks newer too. Yeah, new back door. 
I think there was a stove here. This is me. Yeah. It's probably how the fire started. Yeah, you know what? This room is much darker than the other rooms. Yeah. So. Alright, Pete, grab that knife. We're going to the basement. Well, okay, this on the wall. <laughs> There's somebody in the basement. Like, actually? Yeah. Well, I hear somebody walking around on there. That's all there is to see. Yeah. Fuck that. Well, at least you grab the knife. Yep. Alright, we're gonna hang out for a minute. I think there's somebody in the basement. Heard him shuffling around down there while we were about to go down. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.